hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from brett cooper and it's titled has billy eilish gone off the rails you guys i'm super excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what brett cooper has for us in this video welcome back to the comment section i'm brett cooper and today we need to talk about privacy the right to privacy is very important to me there was once a time when we just didn't say things when we kept our mouth shut about things that should be kept private we kept things to ourselves as they should be kept and i think now we really need to get back to that and i've thought that for a while but i'm definitely certain about that idea after reading a new article about billy eilish and i'm sorry in advance but we have to cover this before we do though make sure that you like this video subscribe to the channel if you've not already and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section upload okay so for some context if you didn't know billy eilish came out as lesbian late last year but according to her she didn't think that she really needed to come out and all the headlines around that time read something like billy eilish on coming out i didn't realize people didn't know and when she was asked why she didn't make a big deal out of it she said no i didn't make a big deal out of it but i kind of thought wasn't it obvious i didn't realize that people didn't know i just didn't really believe in it i'm just like why can't we just exist i've been doing this for a long time and i just didn't talk about it whoops eilish continued but i saw the article and i was like okay i guess i came out today okay cool it's exciting to me because i guess people didn't know this but it's cool that they know i'm for the girls and you know when i read that i appreciated it because i don't need to know and I don't really care. Do what you want. Sleep with whoever you want. Make your music. We all just stay in our lanes and be happy. I will continue listening to your song from the Barbie movie and just not think about it. But over the last four months, something has sadly changed. We are not going to be staying in our lanes any longer. No, because now she is ready to talk about it big time. And she did in a new Rolling Stone profile. And the article is titled, Billie Eilish would like to reintroduce herself. And you know, to be fair, if you read the whole article, there are some really interesting things in the piece about her and her creative process in this new album. It really is an interesting article. However, the only thing that stands out to people, the only thing that people are talking about is her sexuality because she said the most outlandish things that 10 years ago would have stayed private. Like, it would be ridiculous. You would be ostracized if you said things like this. And now, sadly, it's just commonplace. And fair warning, what we're about to talk about is very sexual. So feel free to skip ahead. Just move forward like three minutes if you want. Move some impressionable children's ears out of the way if you need to do that. Whatever. But this, my friends is what is all over my Twitter right now. This is from Pop Crave. Billie Eilish tells Rolling Stone about her song Lunch and realizing her sexuality. Quote, I wrote some of it before even doing anything with a girl and then wrote the rest after it. I've been in love with girls for my whole life, but I just didn't understand. Until last year, I realized that I wanted my face in a... I just don't even know. I don't even know how to respond to that. I'm just like, we could have done without you saying that. I wish that would have been a secret, but you've mentioned it. Just thank you, let's move on and never speak about this again. Like we do not need to know what happens on your mattress. Why wow, you guys, what are your thoughts on this video? These days people don't have boundaries as to what to say and what not to say. And things that are meant to be private and not publicized everywhere. Let me know what you guys think about Billy Eilish and do you guys care about her sexuality all I care about is that she's a good musician and she should keep producing music and our duty to her as a fan is to keep listening to her music and keep encouraging her to do what she does best not anything that has to do with her sexuality or who she is sleeping with let me know what you guys think about this video and let's continue watching you guys now it just gets better or worse from here because we are just scratching the tip of the iceberg with this so then popgrave posted another quote from the article billy eilish tells rolling stone that she likes to in front of a mirror mm -hmm, i heard that I wish I didn't hear that, but I just heard that. And again, I am just so sorry. I'm just going to rush through this. Quote, partly because it's hot, but it also makes me have such a raw, deep connection to myself and my body and have a love for my body that I have not ever really had. I've got to say, looking at yourself in the mirror and thinking I look really good right now is so helpful. I have learned that looking at myself and watching myself feel pleasure has been an extreme help in loving myself and accepting myself and feeling empowered and comfortable. I promise there are other ways to love yourself. I promise there are other ways to feel comfortable in your own skin. And it starts with not publishing this <laughs> in Rolling Stone. Here. And if you thought we were done, we're not. My friends, it keeps going. Quote, people should be it, man. I can't stress it enough as somebody with extreme body issues and dysmorphia that I've had my entire life. No! 
Like, no wonder that is the only thing people are talking about from the article. What else is there to talk about? That is, like, absurd. Now, I was happy to know that I was not alone in my horror. All of these posts on Twitter have millions and millions of impressions. Basically, everybody is just posting memes that are like, ah, I'm sorry. Like, what did I just read? Somebody commented and said, oh, we need to know less of each other. I would agree. I love you all. I don't need to know any of this about your lives. You don't need to know it about mine. We certainly don't need to know it about Billy. Somebody else said, I am now a victim of too much information. Like, is this genuinely what you wanted? Like, I'm asking that of Billy. Like, did you do this interview and go, oh, I hope when people Google my name, the first thing that comes up for the next two weeks is me talking about Matt because that is what is happening, Billy. Just look, this is what happens when you search her name. Obviously, I know because people are gonna comment this, sex sells, so maybe this was marketing tactic, but how did we go from the girl who wore oversized, baggy, objectively ugly clothes 24 seven to shield her body from prying, sexualizing, objectifying eyes, that's literally why she wore those clothes, to this. Like, if I could just put on my pop psychology hat for a minute, I would argue that she probably felt so objectified by the world, maybe by men, that she has now just swung in the complete opposite direction. And so now she's waving this in front of people's faces, but saying, no, you can't have this. You will never get this, you will never get this, la la la. And I'm guessing she is seeing it as some sort of power move. But again, I promise you, there are better and healthier ways to be empowered. You do not need to do that or talk about it or publish it in Rolling Stone. Now, most people online think that this was a step too far. A lot of people are saying that we have diaries for this kind of thing, at least we used to. But of course, there are also people that think that Billy is doing important work by being so open and raw. No, okay. What was important and open and raw was when she talked about this. As a woman, I think is a disgrace. And I used to watch a lot of to be honest. I started watching when I was like 11. I thought that's how you learned how to have sex. I was watching um, abusive, to be honest. I think it really destroyed my brain. Yeah, I think it might have. I think that it has destroyed a lot of people's brains. That's why we talk about it on the show constantly. I just, I am, I'm so angry that is so loved. Now, she did this interview, I think it was a year and a half ago, maybe two years ago, and it basically broke the internet because she is so young, she is so influential, and she just came out of the gate saying it is disgraceful, it is wrong, it ruined my young adult life. I mean, she has been open about all of this, about her experiences with and trying to kick that habit, not to mention how detrimental it is for both men and women. And it was incredible. And it was brave when she did that because it is still such a taboo thing to push back against. And again, I wonder if everything that she is doing now with this Rolling Stone piece is in a response to something else. Maybe that. Maybe she thinks that this is how she needs to heal from everything that she saw and experienced when she was deep in but in my opinion, it is just a swing and a miss. There are ways to encourage people to be in tune with themselves and to understand that is not what healthy sexual encounters look like without putting all of this on blast for the world to see. This was intentionally crude, it was crass, and yes, like most of the internet agrees, some things should still be kept private. Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting video from Brit Cooper, and what are your thoughts on Billie Eilish? You guys think she's doing too much with the kind of information she's putting out there? Because these informations are meant to be private and not public, Leave your thoughts in the comment section. I really enjoy reacting to Brett Cooper. It was such an interesting video. And I believe you guys also enjoyed watching. If you did enjoy watching, give this video a massive thumbs up. Comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.